from all of you, even those with the points in their hands. That is his life. My job is uh, simply to read and accept from the book. Mbabazi angrily remarked, wondering how men like us could keep quiet and see a man's life being taken away. He then told me that that was the reason why that government had to be fought. He, for the first time, revealed to me that he was part of the underground organizers. Mbabazi had trusted me with a deadly secret. <laughs> we remain friends, good friends, to this day. But I'm sure he also wants to inspire and to uplift the young ones behind us so that some of them might be challenged to say, I want to be like Chief Justice Bart Katurebe. When Bart gave you advice, or gave me advice as a vice president, when the president was out of the country, action was taken immediately, and when the president came back, he just said it's okay. Chief Justice Bart Katurebe is a man of great humility. We all know this. He's demonstrated it. It is innate in him. But, and I say this with utmost authority, beneath and camouflaged by that great humility, is a persona made of steel. And that's the greater part of him. BK was also listed to be a magistrate. And he turned it down. Why? Because he did not want to be the judiciary, but wanted to practice law. Little did he know that ultimately he will join the judiciary and become the Chief Justice of the Republic of Uganda. I have been able to get here, as I mentioned, because of my, my parents and my siblings. You see, sometimes you meet us, we are putting on robes. Shakespeare calls them borrowed robes. They don't really depict the real person. And sometimes we make a decision and people quickly say, you must have been bribed. Oh, is it like this? Because they don't know the real person behind the decision. I want to say from the beginning, my father would tell us, honesty is what will make you. Integrity is what will make you. To tell my father lie was worse than if you threw a stone at him. <laughs>